Today, we're gonna to look at this. Tea break. Hello again everybody, Mids1970 here. Now with the amount of battery tools that we get these days, we end up with a multitude of chargers and batteries and they just get left lying around all over the place. In this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice batch charging station and I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is so you can make one for yourselves. Now I'm pretty sure that we've all got a charging area, something similar to this at home. A bit of a mess. I've decided that the charging station is going to go underneath the window. I've laid out the charging station on the board. So what I've done is I found some plywood that is just the right size to fit in there. And then I'm going to cut some notches out so the batteries slide on and will hang in place. This is a cheap charger for charging Bosch batteries. So I'm going to find a way of fixing this onto there. So my plan is, I've already unscrewed this, make a couple or three holes and then some slots so that I can put some screws in the board, hook it over them press it down and then screw a piece of wood or something on there so that it can't lift off. So that is the top side of this half of the board 
finished. Now for the other side. So this charger, the screw positions are marked on the back and these come fitted. So it's six inches wide. So deciding where I'm going to put that and I've put my two screws in. The charger's going to sit there. Nah. Now, I've drilled through, I'm going to cut a hole in there so that I can take the plug through the back on this board as well. Bit of electrical tape just to make sure that it doesn't short out on the back of the circuit board. Now please remember that uh, what we've done to these charges will void your warranty. So only do it if you're really, really happy about doing it. That's the backboard painted. Let's put the battery hangers back on.
and that's the charger station project finished. So I've mounted it on the wall where I wanted it and it's colour coded so that any batteries that are waiting to be charged can go here in the red and then when they've been charged, if I'm not using them, they can go there in the green. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe and tell your friends about it as well. I've got a lot of projects coming up in 2021, so please stick around. But for now, it's goodbye from me. Have a nice new year. Bye-bye.